You're watching every TV English news broadcast to viewers. I'm your reporter, Bersa Betagla, and these are the major headlines for today. Nationals and Scandinavian countries conducted meetings on strengthening organizational capacity. Sabrit Cultural Group is participating at World Cultural and Artistic Show in India. Earthquakes in Turkey and Syria kill more than 1,700 and leave thousands injured. And French Parliament debates pension reform ahead of strikes. On your local reports, nationals in Scandinavian countries conducted meetings focusing on strengthening unity and organizational capacity. At the meetings carried out in the Swedish cities of Gothenburg, Umea, Oribro, Lund, Sonsvall and Malmo, and in the Norwegian cities of Copenhagen and Aarhus, Mr. Isas Gabrai, Head of Administration and Consular Affairs at the Austrian Embassy in Scandinavian countries, gave briefing on the public activities in the diaspora, as well as rights and responsibilities of nationals. Mr. Isayas also gave detailed briefing on the significance of strengthening organizational capacity, service being provided to nationals, basic laws of Eritrea, nurturing youth that adhere to the noble societal values, as well as challenges that diaspora nationals are facing. Explaining on the significance of the meetings and developing their understanding on the objective situation in their homeland, the participants called for its sustainability. Sibrit National Cultural Trip is participating at the 36th World Cultural and Artistic Show that is taking place in India from 3 February. The Cultural Trip on 7 February presented artistic performances depicting the cultural diversity and traditions of the Eritrean people. Cultural troops from all over the world are taking part in the event that will continue until 19 February. The World Cultural and Artistic Show that is known by Surajukund India incorporates traditional and cultural music performances as well as sculptures and bazaar. The World Cultural and Artistic Show is one of the big cultural festivals in India and attracts over 1 million visitors from all over the world. On your last local report, the Ministry of Education branch in the Southern Red Sea region conducted assessment meeting on 5 and 6 February in the port city of Aseb, focusing on the result of students in the first semester as well as in the 2021 and 2022 8th grade national examination. At the meeting in which heads of schools in the subzones took part, activity implementation report was presented in terms of achievements registered and challenges encountered. Regarding the students' result in the 2021 and 2022 8th grade national examination, the report indicated that out of the 754 students that participated in the national examination, 50.4% have registered passing marks. According to the preliminary study conducted, the reason for registering low results in the national examination in some schools include wastage of time, students' absence from school, low interest of students, as well as lack of follow-up on, on the part of the parents. Mr. Hago Sadhana, head of the Ministry of Education branch in the region, said that strong effort will be exerted in cooperation with parents and stakeholders to address the existing challenges and develop the teaching learning process. Ambassador Mohamed Saeed Mentai, governor of the region, on his part, said that the regional administration will provide utmost priority for the maintenance of schools infrastructure and other school facilities. Do stay with us for the international reports after the short break. Welcome back. The U.S. Geological Survey reported that a 7.5 magnitude earthquake hit southeast Turkey on Monday afternoon, mere hours after a first major tumbler killed more than 1,600 people on both sides of the Turkish and Syrian borders in the region. 
The first quake was followed by dozens of aftershocks felt for hundreds of miles around. The first earthquake, a magnitude of 7.8, hit southeast Turkey and northern Syria. In addition to the dead, thousands were injured, and a frantic search was underway for survivors trapped under the rubble of collapsed buildings. The head of Turkey's Disaster and Emergency Management Agency said that the initial quake claimed at least 1,014 lives and destroyed more than 2,000 buildings. Syrian government officials and rescue agencies that work in rebel-held parts of the war-torn nation said more than 780 people were killed in the country. Many nations immediately offered assistance, including the United States, Germany, France, Greece, and Ukraine. On your final report, French President Emmanuel Macron's government faces a crunch week of defending its contested pension reform with fireworks expected in Parliament and mass strikes and demonstrations planned on the streets. Walkouts and marches were planned for today and Saturday, while left-wing opponents of the minority administration have already filed thousands of amendments ahead of the parliamentary debate, which began yesterday afternoon. Trains and the Paris metro are again expected to see severe disruptions, according to operators, and around one in five fly flights at Orly Airport, south of the capital, were expected to be cancelled today. Macron's plan to raise the age of retirement is a flagship policy of his second term in office, which he has defended as essential given forecasts for deficits in the coming years. But it is widely unpopular, and last week's demonstrations brought out, according to a police count, 1.3 million people nationwide, while unions claimed more than 2.5 million attendees. Either way, this marked the largest protest in France since 2010. You're still watching Airy TV, the viewers, and now recap of the major headlines. Nationals in Scandinavian countries conducted meetings on strengthening organizational capacity. The great cultural troupe is participating at World Cultural and Artistic Show in India. Earthquakes in Turkey and Syria kill more than 1,700 and leave thousands injured. And French Parliament debates pension reform ahead of strikes. The viewers, that was it for today. Thanks for watching and do stay for the remaining of our programs.